Forging a successful career path begins from your foundation. A foundation of quality and professional education. It is a weapon of transformation and a passport to the future. It marks credibility and years of training thousands of professionals in HND. BTEC, BSc, an MBA in the schools of business and management sciences, engineering and education with remarkable mentorship from the University of Bamenda for the BTEC and MBE and the University of Boya for the BSc program is second to know. From committed professors and lecturers in classrooms to numerous academic field trips, internships and workshops. Hitmap will reform and guide you towards your success. Admissions are now open in our Boya and Douala campuses. Join us. Together, we will build a legacy. Himat is what it is today because of his excellent and competent teachers. For you children, Himat will be the perfect place to gain that professionalism that you need to further your educational career. The Higher Institute of Business Management and Technology. The University Institute for Professionals. As some people using the name of President Paul B. and his party to plunder the Cameroon's economy is our topic for tonight. Uh, we are going to be looking at uh, how some people will also answer the question whether some persons in the country, be the militants of the CPDM or not, are using the name of President Paul B. and uh, the CPDM party to plunder Cameroon's economy with our uh, panelists who are already in the house. Uh, good evening to the viewers. Welcome to today's edition of Prime R. Uh, we are going to be receiving Princess Joel on this uh, edition of the program. It's been away for some time. We are glad to have you back. Thank you very much, Mr. Liu. Good evening to the tele viewers of uh, my major prime and particularly Prime R. It's very true that for a while we're not there for reasons that you best know, but we are back. It's always a privilege being on board. Okay. We also are in the company of uh, you, Professor Mark Antoni. Uh, good evening and welcome. Thank you, Leo, and uh, good evening to my fellow panelists and uh, to the million viewers out there. It is a beautiful evening and we believe that uh, by the end of this program, we would have educated some of you on some issues that are pertinent concerning our nation. Thank you. Kevin, uh, Brenda is also part of uh, today's uh, panel. Good evening, Kevin. Uh, hello, Leo. Good evening to all the televiewers out there, especially to our, the, the, those watching from Bamenda. I'm very happy to be here this evening to share and as well learn from the topics that we'll be discussing today. We also are in the company of Quine uh, Dillian. Uh, who is representing the CRM party. Good evening and welcome. Good evening. Uh, good evening to all your televiewers. We are expecting a militant of uh, the CPDM party. He was mandated by the party to be part of this edition of the program. We hope that he joins us and uh, also share in what we are discussing. We equally are going to be discussing on uh, the call by Kadna Tumi for the President of the Republic to grant amnesty to uh, those involved in the crisis uh, rocking the Southwest and Northwest region. We are going to be answering the question as to whether the President was going to hit uh, that call. I will start with you, Prince uh, Joel. Um, is the name of the President of the Republic a passport for many persons in this country? Sure, Mr. Leo, you know, the president of the country, many individuals glorify him. We've had ministers, we've had persons who have referred to the head of state as a god on several platforms. And also, many persons are using the head of state, I think, for political benefit. Many persons know that once you use the name of the president, you're going to get political favor. You can be appointed, you can be kept somewhere. And... It is, to an extent, something that is really lamentable because we've had individuals who have openly cherished the head of state, who've given the, 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 the head of state 
the characteristics of a god okay and all these things is just for one reason like i said before Mr. Leo, is the fact that a majority of people are doing so because they actually want to get favor from the head of state and someone may not be doing it like say they are doing it genuinely it's just that no if the president if i sing praises for the president i may end up getting favor from him and we've also seen ministers not so many in the country you ask the minister a question and the first thing is i want to thank the head of state and at times you start asking yourself whether the people actually married or deserve where they are because at each time it is always je vais remercier monsieur le chef d'état it is always the president and the president and it's just for one simple reason on my own reading is the fact that many persons want political favor and you can only get this political favor if you sing praises to the man who is up there now but don't you also think that it is because it's the president of the republic who gives the direction as to the implementation of the policies based on the manifesto on which he was voted uh, sure sure but i i think that uh, mr Liu, it's very true that in most offices in fact all offices in cameroon the area of state is always up but far from that i think that mr Liu, it is true that it is the head of state who does everything but when you look at the the extent to which some people actually glorify him it, we've had ministers without calling names who say the head of state is a god we know even colleagues journalists yeah but that's not my problem even if they say the head of state is a god the, my question is are they using that name as a passport to getting to uh, many sectors of this country and then uh, end up plundering I might not be an expert in answering that question, but uh, I might give an opinion in mm -hmm. relation to it, considering the fact that uh, we are observant to some of the activities of ministers, delegates, and what, of all that we can name. At times when you see somebody praising somebody so much, mm -hmm. I want to believe it's because the person has something behind the game. Mm -hmm. and so, a lot of uh, let's let's take uh, the past uh, ministers who are presently in the prison mm -hmm. most of them used to praise the name of the president and some of them are in prison for embezzling money they want their trust they gave them the trust and they misuse the trust in stealing embezzling the nation's wealth and that already is an indication that a lot of people are using the name of the president to make their money mm -hmm. apart from that uh, from observation like i started saying when you see a person trying to speak good of another person so much trying to hail somebody so much there's a hidden, hidden agenda okay and that hidden agenda to my opinion, is one of the reasons why this nation is standing where it is right now. Because most of these persons have been given the opportunity to actually manage the affairs of the nation. Rather than managing the affairs of the nation, they keep on saying that I receive high instruction from this person to do this. And in doing that, you don't see execution of what they have been told to, to do, but you only see sums of money being swindled. And so, you imagine a minister who, who praise the president and then come and present a budget that a kilometer of road is start for seven billion. That one already is to tell you that is a means to preserve himself from being a, a <coughs> kicked out of the government not only kicked out of the government at times uh, looking for ways to protect himself from being sent to prison but i will say uh, it is very very shameful to realize that uh, some individuals take advantage of the name of our president to make their personal gains uh, apart from that direction there are individuals whom i, I want to say have the kind of relationship with uh, 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 the president who uses that particular relationship as a means to intimidate others. And that is so common in Cameroon. 
where you see somebody who feels like he's somewhere up there, he leaves to intimidate those who are down. Mm. He tells you that he has uh, he has connections a, up. A hotline with the president yes. of the yes. public. Mm -hmm. So with okay. all of that, at the end of the day, you can't uh, 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 deny that some individuals are not actually there to take advantage of the president's name. Okay, uh, Rigo and Moralization uh, is the platform through which uh, the President of the Republic actually <laughs> announced his uh, policy for Cameroon. When you look at his close uh, collaborators, uh, do you match Rigo and Moralization with what they have been able to do so far to accompany the President and realize uh, what he, he, the plans he have for this country? Uh, to a little extent, uh, because there are times when you would like to ask if the president is there or if he's sleeping given the fact that he appoints people who don't execute what they are out to do. Mm -hmm. We have many of such instances where we're, we're talking about, look at the case of the, the, the Gabo incident. The president stood behind us and said they were going to um, uh, uh, send a, uh, do a lot of investigations, compensate uh, uh, the, the, those victims, and even uh, organize a, a service for them. Till today, the person who was sent to control this commission, the person who is sending this commission, we don't know what's happening. All of this, just one of them. Just to say that there are some things that the president, what the president aspires. I would not like to say I'm reading President Pobia's mind here, but what he, when you look at what his policy says and the people he appoints, we it is totally something else. Look at a minister who sat in his office and he was drinking his palm wine and said, he, he if something is people are dying in the northwest and southwest, he doesn't concern him. He doesn't stop him from drinking his palm wine. That shouldn't come from a minister, and it should come from someone who is trying who, who is trying to. Uh, um, to, 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 to follow up with the policy of national integration, national unity, and the rest. Same as the other, some other minister will call you others dogs. That doesn't, it says totally different, it's something else to what the president aspires for the nation. So that, that topic, this topic of today, I'm very touched by it because I think that so people actually use the name of President Pobia to achieve their personal gains mm -hmm. rather than uh, the, 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 the interests of the nation. It is true that President Pobia has been, has been there for more than 30 years. That's why we have at every occasion people will keep singing his name. We thank the head of state. We thank the head of state. We, we have been thanking the head of state for more than 30 years. So it's just normal. About calling his name in, in, in every interview, I'm not surprised. It's okay for me. My problem is that when the, the head of state says we are working towards national integration, let him appoint people who actually will carry out all of these uh, 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 policies and ensure that we have a united Cameroon and not a divided front. Okay, a united Cameroon. Uh, Gillian Quine, we using uh, 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 people using the name of the uh, president of the Republic or the party to get uh, either their, their, their children, their wives and others uh, um, recruited into some of these uh, higher institutions, for example, in um, Iraq and a host of others. Yeah, first of all, I want to uh, have an ask for an excuse to your viewers. I would love to consume in English, but I just want to make this panel to be bilingual. So, with your permission, I may want to express myself in French. Okay. <laughs> La question que vous posez, c'est une question de fond et effectivement, nous sommes euh, dans cet en, en, engluage, dans cet enfumage de la part des officiels du gouvernement qui, effectivement, utilisent le, le nom du chef de l'État puisque les lettres sont souvent mentionnées avec, euh, sont souvent portables à la mention sous haute instruction. On se pose bien la question si sous haute instruction cadre avec un principe constitutionnel. Le constat est, est triste parce qu'aujourd'hui, il y a beaucoup de dérives qui sont en train de, de, de prendre corps, qui sont en train de s'opérer. Et on veut bien se poser la question, euh, puisque c'est le nom du chef de la personne qui incarne la fonction de président de la République qui est utilisé, est-il au courant de cet état de choses Ça, c'est une question fond, fondamentale. Et s'il était au courant de cet état de choses, 
euh, pourront nous croire qu'il est effectivement d'accord avec euh, ce que euh, ces ministres euh, font au quotidien en utilisant effectivement son nom. La consoeur a rappelé le cas de Gabou. Il y a plusieurs cas où effectivement on a vu les ministres, je prends le cas récent de, de, de la taxe qui a été imposée sur, sur la téléphonie, oui. où le premier ministre a validé et la décision est venue du secrétaire, secrétaire général disant que c'était sur haute instruction du chef de l'État. Ça nous, ça nous amène dans une sorte de, de, de cycle d'embrouille. On se pose la question, que vaut la, la fonction présidentielle au Cameroun Si les gens doivent utiliser son nom plutôt pas que lui, nous savons que le chef d'État est en exercice, il est supposé gouverner le Cameroun et non pas avoir des personnes. Mais il ne peut pas être ou des à tout moment. Il est l'incarnation de la République. Mm -hmm. C'est-à-dire que je suis, moi, en tant que citoyen, je consens que le chef d'État doit être partout et à tout moment. Parce que à partir du moment où il est absent et que c'est quelqu'un d'autre qui vient relayer sa fonction sous le couvert de haute instruction, personnellement, ça pose problème. Et oui, nous n'avons qu'à voir. Est-ce que, est que vous avez l'impression qu'ils utilisent euh, ce nom pour euh, mettre l'approche dans les grandes écoles C'est toutes ces choses-là que nous avons vues à l'ENAM. On ne veut pas faire un procès en sorcellé, mais quand vous regardez les dernières listes des résultats de l'ENAM, vous vous rendez effectivement compte que il y a, euh, 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 il y a même plus une intention, parce que ça, 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 ça allait au-delà de l'intention, mais il y a cette volonté de s'accaparer de, 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 de certaines positions au sein de l'administration gouvernante, que certains proches, justement, sous le nom du chef de l'État, s'amusent à à faire des faveurs, c'est-à-dire qu'à prôner le favoritisme au détriment du mérite. Nous avons vu les listes de l'ENAM tout, 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 tout récemment. Il n'y a pas que l'ENAM. Il y a tout un ensemble de décisions. Si on veut, si on veut prendre les, les deux dernières années, vous allez vous rendre compte que euh, la machine gouvernementale est grippée. Grippée pourquoi Parce que les décisions qui en sortent euh, ne sont pas en réalité le reflet du président de la République, mais qui parlerait en son nom. Mais c'est davantage les positions de ces ministres qui euh, utilise très éveillé sur cet état de choses. Si nous parlons de la République, nous devons euh, interpeller ce gouvernement à faire fonctionner toutes les institutions, en commençant par la présence de la République. Okay. Uh, how do we understand that seemingly everybody is uh, trying to outwit the order uh, to believe that they have very close relations with the President of the Republic and then go on doing uh, just uh, anything? Um, Is the judiciary uh, so helpless to so have noticed that uh, many things are dysfunctional and that uh, they need to step in to regulate? Mr. Liu, uh, lately in Cameroon, we've noticed, like you asked, there is this kind of uh, conflict, ministerial conflicts, mm. whereby at one time we can remember that one time Minister of Arts and Culture in this country had contradicted a decision that came from the Prime Minister's office about the creation of uh, Sunakam. And it's not the first case. We've also seen in the same country whereby uh, the Minister, uh, Minister of Territorial Administration has contradicted what the Prime Minister has said. And I think the majority of what is ongoing, Mr. Lewis, because certain persons think that they have more uh, affiliation to the Unity Palace than the other Ministers. Because Uh, like uh, my brother said, there is actually something that drew my attention, or oh, many Cameroonians, if they've been observant, that the Prime Minister takes a, deci a decision, says something, and then a, a letter comes from the, from the presidency to contradict that same decision. The Prime Minister normally is the head of government. It means that everything in stricter sense, so he's working closest to the presidency than any other person. But if you look at what has been ongoing for a while now in the country, Cameroon, one is, it's not like one is asking what is not going on well. We've had situations whereby the president, from what we gathered, that certain decisions were taken even without the presidency, and that the judiciary needed to come in on her instructions. The question we're asking ourselves is very simple, Mr. Luther. Why is it that once somebody has been given an office, why can they not? Because normally there's what we call their job description. Why should people not stay within their own areas? We've discovered that 
ministers look at even what is ongoing in, uh, in Fekafu. You just you, you see General Pierre Semenge and the, it, it takes the presidency to come in and yeah. But my question my question stands. We have a judiciary that is supposed to be independent, but we find people almost everybody is doing whatever they want to do. We saw uh, the Supreme Court take a decision recently concerning uh, the University of Boyerland, and a minister and a minister <laughs> took a decision. It took another instruction from the President of the Republic mm -hmm. to instruct okay. that uh, the minister should uh, give the land back to the university and then we how independent is our judiciary are the ministers above them are the collaborators of the president president above uh, the judiciary common judiciary yeah, Mr. Liu, to an extent to an extent we may say yes yes because over over the individuals the truth is we've had people who have all that for the arrest of people and those people are kept with it, it takes time later on before the truth comes out but mr liu there are certain people who are linked to the presidency whose decisions are stronger than that of other ministers and it doesn't really sell the image of the country well because a very simple example the prime minister is head of government if the prime minister takes a decision and somebody comes to contradict that same decision it goes to tell you that we are just like deceiving ourselves that he is a head of government. And this is just one of the so many cases that we have seen in Cameroon. We've seen ministers who have contradicted decisions that come from the others. But it's just, I would not say that the judiciary is helpless because the judiciary itself functions based on the executive. The head of state is not ignorant of what is ongoing in Cameroon. He knows. And when these things are ongoing, it is maybe because somebody somewhere has a very stronger hand at the level of the unity palace and maybe it's a person who is manipulating to ensure that the right decisions are not taken. Okay. Uh, many uh, persons also within the government apparatus using the party to set up a division amongst uh, Cameroonians uh, for their personal gains because when you create division and there are warring factions, it's a, it's a nation that, that um, actually suffers but the cover you are using to orchestrate this division, war, and a, and a host of others is you are, you are you are you are you are belonging to the CPDM or the fact that you support the president of the republic. You see, such situations do happen simply because there's lack of patriotism. Okay. When the love of an individual is above the love of the nation you start finding what we call personality cults coming up and when you see individuals who are fully involved in these personality cults the truth behind it is that most at times their praises are not what you should take into consideration you see in leadership we are made to understand that the strength of a leader is integrity meaning that you are able to mash your words with your actions but from observation we have come to realize that there are a lot of words that have been said which contradict actions that are taken and from my understanding in Cameroon don't judge people from their words judge them from their actions because they will say this praise this and do all that but when they go out they act differently and that is the reason why you you see a party which is supposed to be united to be able to lead it is divided from within because there are camps that have been divided I am more closer to the president than this person so I have my camp this other person is more closer to this so they have their camp and that division is the reason why you have instability in a nation where one individual feels like he has the right to insult others and go with it. And those are the things that we have experienced, Mr. Liu, in this same nation for a while now. Look at the CPDM party. I'm not of the CPDM. But you see a lot of divisions are inside. The question is why? Even in families, we have divisions. Yes, and the reason for those divisions is simply because 
either I am connected to the head more or I am connected to this other. If you, in a family, when you see children more close to their father, some close to their mother, there's a division already. And who stays more in the house determines the who people tend to. If it is a mother who stays with the children, some of those who are more close to mama will have to intimidate those who are not close to her, those who are close to the father. And you end up having a situation where there is war, conflict in house. And that is what, uh, in relation to the question of Leo, that is what is happening within this party where some individuals feel more connected. And since they feel more connected, they use it against others. And it affects the nation indirectly. Mm -hmm. It affects the nation indirectly. Whether you like it or not, it affects the nation. Because uh, I, 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 would, I wanted to cite the situation, but I don't think I should do that. I will say this. Once you see an individual who feels like I have more audacity, you just quoted a situation where a minister, the prime minister who is looked upon to be the head of the government, that minister is under that government, that head of uh, government, implying that his decisions should be the final. That when he makes takes a decision, another minister who is below him takes another decision and claims that it is coming from high authority. That high authority jumps authority to give that high authority. You see, that's the problem. That's to already tell you that there is a break in leadership. Okay, there is creates chaos. There is a break in uh, leadership. Now, uh, let's look at uh, some of uh, the persons that are close to the President of the Republic who are militants of uh, the civilian party who are also involved in contracts. Are you satisfied with what they are doing? Are they using the civilian not to engage in uh, effectively uh, constructing or uh, realizing their projects? A glaring example are the projects uh, that the, the uh, reunification, 50th anniversary reunification projects for Boya. A glaring example. We have parts of Boya that were worked on by Arab contractors. We have other parts that were worked on by Cameroonians who are militants of the Cypriot party. And months after, what was done by the Cameroonians is gone. Yeah. How do we understand this? Are they using the party to plunder yeah, this comes, nation? It comes to what the, the question of today. They are using the party, they are using the, 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 the affiliates, the connections they have in the party to do whatever they do because they think, they believe that they will not render justice tomorrow. If you ask somebody like uh, uh, Marafa uh, uh, if he would ever be in jail, he would have told you, no, I will not go to jail because he, they use this position thinking that there will be no judgment, so nobody will ask them questions, nobody will judge them. And it is a lie. This person, this contract, usually, he doesn't eat this money alone, you know. Mm -hmm. It is a chain. Mm -hmm. And for you to start breaking that chain, you will discover that some top personalities yeah, but it are comes also involved it. in yes. it. Close collaborators of the so house. If, 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 yeah, that's it. You know, what, what the collaborators will tell them so that, you no, know, I will render account to Pai that the job was done. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and nobody is complaining. So, you and I who live in, uh, in Boya, we see this and we complain. The mayor sees it and is not happy with this. But the chain is there. You just have to keep closing their mouth, closing the mouth, and then finally the thing is just dies down mm -hmm. like this. That is why when people, when people complain, uh, you need to go to the ground to look at how people live before you come and make some declarations in Yaoundé. Because when you look at some projects that are declared sans pour sans complet in Yaoundé, you go on the field and discover that those projects are maybe 34%, and, and you're shocked. And, and that is, it happens because there is this backing. There is this minister who came to Douala, and from what the reports that she had been, the Minister of Urban, uh, uh, Urban Development, when she was disappointed, yes, Madame uh, Cortez, she was disappointed when she came around, it was the Sanaga, uh, yes, the, those gutters around that area. When she came, she said, but Mr. Governor, mm -hmm. you've been giving me this report telling me that everything is fine. How come this thing is the way it is right now? You see, that's what happens in Cameroon. People, you sit there, since you don't go to the field to verify uh, 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 things, you just trust this person because you know this person is a militant of my party and has the same interests uh, that I have for the state of Cameroon. You don't trust them. You give them that right hand. They go into the field. They do what they can do. They know that uh, my uncle, who is uh, the prime minister, is there. He will back me up. 
that is the problem that we that we have okay that's the problem that we have let me take a few messages and we continue uh Cameroon ministers are, are fun of using the name of mr bia as if he is got a popular example was in the year 2014 when the then minister of communication uh, says i found the head of state for the air we breathe and i ask myself <laughs> what is uh, really wrong with the ministers of this country bison benson writing from united arab emirates uh, good evening to you good evening Mr. Liu and my greetings to the panel. I want to say, let's uh, not pretend about Mr. Bia or people using his name for personal gains. <coughs> Excuse me. We have seen any time uh, people glorify him, he appointed them. Mr. Liu, if I use your name for what you don't like today and tomorrow, you will call me to order. If you don't call me to order, what does that mean? You are uh you are okay with it it's not one or two persons but uh, the entire party members doing one and the same thing okay uh she thinks from boom tal tal is writing from boom tal thinks that um the president of the republic is questioning what is happening but we've seen uh many of his close collaborators like she says uh Malafa hamidu yaya with no persons like uh amibara uh, uh at uh, 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 in prison, we have Alain Edgar Mbengo. We have a lot of, of uh, we have prime ministers who have been in prison. And is this not to tell the world that no, these guys did not do the job I asked them to do? I want to start by uh, Edgar Alain Mbengo. Mm. You know, when he was the minister of defense, uh, the, the managing system was. Mm problem until we saw military almost going for for strike which is forbidden so later on we saw a promotion coming along the way he was appointed as a minister of uh, uh, transport something of that sort where Cameroonians was that were was it demoted? <laughs> no I, I cannot answer I, I cannot actually consider that he was demoted because to be to demote somebody shows that he was supposed to be sacked but he was rather Kamona were, were somehow uh, uh, are waiting for a sanction, mm -hmm. but they saw a kind of promotion, you can call it the demotion, they saw the, a kind of promotion, he was appointed as a minister of, of transport. That shows that there's a critical problem here, because mm -hmm. uh, President Popia himself is the one, is the key promoter of all what you may consider as disorder or misleading, is the key promoter because if you look cri critically the way the government functions, you then realize that <clears throat> uh, 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 what the people, the Cameroonians are saying, is totally contrary to what the government or the government officials are, are listing. They have their own uh, view of gov governing the country. Donc, c'est des mesures nous. Camerounais, nous, nous sommes habitués à, à, ces, à ces façons de, de, de gouverner. Et moi, je refuse d'innocenter le président de la République. Parce que comme euh, vos, votre, euh, le message que vous avez lu tout à l'heure, qui l'un des Camerounais qui disait que s'il n'était pas d'accord, il y a bien des choses qu'il devait, qu devait prendre, il y a des dispositions qu'il devait prendre, effectivement, pour sanctionner. Euh, je veux rappeler quelque chose. Vous savez que c'est de coutume qu'après chaque élection du président de la République, il y a un remaniement ministériel. Vous n'allez pas me dire, ou du moins les autres Camerounais ne vont pas me dire ici que depuis 2018, que Paul Bia a été réélu président de la République, à tort ou à raison, que les ministres qui ont été cités dans beaucoup d'affaires, n'oublions pas qu'il y a une enquête, que nous attendons toujours les résultats, l'enquête sur euh, les, chantiers, les, les chantiers pour les la Cannes, pour la Cannes que nous attendons jusqu'à aujourd'hui. Et donc, les noms, certains noms très proches du président de la République sont, sont cités. Donc, on ne peut pas dire aujourd'hui que le président de la République est innocent. Il n'est pas innocent. Je crois que c'est un jeu qui l'arrange. Comme disait quelqu'un, divisé pour mieux régner. Il le fait à dessein. Il a effectivement, euh, comme dans, dans tout royaume, puisque au Cameroun, nous ne sommes pas trop loin de cette logique de, de royauté, dans tout royaume, le, le roi voudrait bien s'endurer des hommes stratégiques okay. qui peuvent se permettre de faire du n'importe quoi. Uh, 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 Prince uh, Joël, is the situation 
actually <coughs> rendered more complicated because it is difficult to separate uh, President Paul Biya from the state and the CPDM. Sure. <coughs> Mr. Liu, you know, it is very difficult to separate the man Paul Biya, separate him from the political part of the CPDM, separate him from the state itself because, because even, an, even an engineer who is asked to construct a sure. a bridge over the Vuri will say he got the wisdom from the, from, the that's government. why that's why i'm saying that mr liu mm. it, 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 at times it is very difficult to remove the man paul bia from everything in cameroon because we have three arms the legislative the judiciary and the executive the head of state belongs to the executive. But when you look at it well, he is like nearly all over. Mr. Liu, we should be... We have a minister delegate at the president in charge of defense, mm -hmm. Joseph Betiasumu. It means to a greater extent, there is a real minister of, justice, of, of, of defense yes. mm -hmm. whose name is not known. Now, so it is very, very difficult in Cameroon to do anything without mentioning the head of state in all aspects there is nothing there is no area even in football he's a he's the number one footballer he's a commander in chief of armed forces the phone of funds he's all over so it, it is very complex mr Liu, in cameroon now because the head of state is all over if somebody gets a contract instead of thanking the person with the minister of public works it is monsieur or, or monsieur chef d'etat so since people now know that they have favors from the presidency, that is why we have what we're having here. What, what Brenda said is actually something that I was there with her, with the minister. At one time, the minister of Emmanuel Ngannou Jomesi asked a Chinese man a question when they came to Japoma. Yeah, how, how, how did you get this contract? This contract right? How did you get this contract, Mr. Liu? You, you, you start asking yourself that, what is going on? It means that somebody somewhere, he even he was not aware. Madame Kecha Kotes asked the former government delegate, Frick Stonento, now was there with Brenda. Monsieur, you told me how is this thing here? But therefore, you discover that there are a group of persons who do things the way they want. Tiling from the presidency? Correct. Because they have favor. Because they know that they have certain persons and they're untouchable. And it, it doesn't sell well because we know very well. They, for instance, the, the present minister of, of uh, secondary education. When mom left University of Douala to, to, to Lacantini, many persons were like, it was a punishment. No, knowing that they were rather preparing her for a better... A better what, what was that? Naluva Lyunga. No, she, she was never at Lacantini. She was the board chair of the uh, general hospital. Oh, okay, correct. Mm -hmm. Now, so but, but when you look at it generally, Ms. Alio, in Cameroon, the, the thing that we have a lot of contracts, like you rightly put it, that people don't actually execute what has been given them. Mm. It is because certain persons have their relations. Take another simple example. The recent competitive exam into Enam. More than 30 people came from the director's family. It means that, that they were expecting that the president or somebody should tell him that no, what you did was incorrect, maybe exception. But he is there, nothing is happening, it's as if nothing happened. It is because persons have their connections, persons have their relations, and they know that irrespective of what you do, their backing comes from the presidency. And this would not have been the case, Mr. Liu, like you already asked me the question, would have not been the case if there were a difference between the president and the different institutions. The judiciary. Given, yes, the judiciary. Mm -hmm. But given that the president incarnates all the institution, education, sports, so everything, there is no way that you don't see the president. The president is visible in all sectors. And because it is visible in all sectors, mediocrity is the order of the day. Mm -hmm. There are people who are competent who are in offices who would have done the job. Remember when the, the, the former prime minister, Efre Menoni, remember during the, 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 the process of, I think, Operation Sparrowhawk, when people came to their offices around 8 o'clock. No, yeah, he launched uh, Operation Antelope. Antelope. Mm -hmm. When he took upon himself to go to offices as you come and you meet another law. But how far did he go? It is because we are living in a country where once you have the connection, the relations, you're untouchable. We have seen uniform officers 
who have been transferred. I have a guy who I did an investigative story on him. A police officer was transferred from the one to the ambassador. This guy has been there for close to seven years now. Just for simply telling a lady who had connections somewhere that, Madam, you are perturbing traffic. So I think that the, 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 the whole aspect boils down to one aspect, Mr. Liu, is the presidency, the president, because he is the head. And if persons were not functioning based on the president, we would not have had what, what is ongoing in the country today. Okay, let's take uh, Cameroon has institutions. We have uh, the likes of, we have the, the legislature, we have uh, even now the Constitutional Council, we have the Senate. Sure. Are all of these uh, instances unable to check those who are using the name of the President of the Republic or the name of the party to plunder the nation? Mr. Liu. Oh, they are also part of the cabal. The first thing we should look at is the fact that our constitution actually defines the system in which we are in. Cameroon is a presidentialist nation, which means that the president has almost all the power. And in that case, he interferes in the affairs of the executive, of the uh, 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 judiciary, yes. as well as Yes, that is the situation. Case. That is the situation. But the question is, the crux of the problem is, is it because of that that people are using his name and party to destroy, to steal, to pifer from the, the resources of the nation? That's where we should dive to. Considering all this put together, it becomes clear that even the judiciary will not have authority to speak against somebody who has done something if the others doesn't come from above. Parliament would not do anything. The parliament Senate will not is do anything. practically being nominated. For example, the Senate, the president nominates how many out of 100? 30. That's really to make you understand the powers he has you over 70 them. And, 30. and when it comes to the parliament, at the end of the day, I want to say something. Let's look at the last uh, uh, parliamentary election that took place. The president of that particular House of Representatives, as put it that way, has been there for years. Question, do you think that there's no other person that can actually replace him? No. But where does the others come from? Yeah, so, but I don't really understand what I'm saying. No, I'm getting you. Yeah, Mr. because seemingly you, we are talking about the president of the, of the republic here. Yes. I'm looking at people using his name. Is it because the president is all powerful that a house of assembly is unable to bring one person to book? The Senate is unable to question what is happening because remember, you say it's all powerful, but it took the SDF senator, um, Kemende Henry. To raise the issue of compatibility, where uh, I'm sure uh, Chief Mukete and a host of others were forced to to stand down from the uh, it, it, dual positions. Mr. Lee, I'm not refusing all that. What I'm driving to is this: with these powers he has, with those individuals connected to him, they believe that if anything happens. Mm -hmm. The voice of the president will save them. Correct. And so they go defiling even the judiciary. They go defiling the, the uh, uh, parliamentary house. So in doing that, you see you, them using the name of the president. Yeah, but in using the name, what stops the National Assembly? They are in session now. What stops them from raising a particular case, asking this minister, because ministers are I'm going to pass before them now. Mr. Lee, I'm pointing Mr. something minister, to you. This guy in your department in, in Manu, this guy in your department in Divuri, did this and this. Why can't you? I'm pointing something. Yes. And what is that? They believe that they have the backing. So when you do everything that you are doing, those people who are in that government and in the, the judiciary know those connections. And so there's a kind of fear even within to there. Isn't and once you do that, at least some person have been sanctioned. Using the case that he just said, a police officer spoke to a person because she was actually creating unnecessary 
Hold up. And what happened? He was transferred somewhere else simply because he spoke. Such cases are happening. And so they misuse power because they think that they have a backing. Yeah, but and not only misusing the power, they go further in even swindling the state yeah, but, but, yeah, but when 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 they know that you have powers because you have connections to the president of the republic, we know of a recent case of uh, somebody who uh boasted that he had all the connections to the presidency but <laughs> later on we discovered that um he was begging even to have access to the wife of the president of the republic mm -hmm. but the question is even if somebody boasts that i have connections with the president with the presidency the constitutional council is there the senate is there the house of assembly is there and they all are aware that there are persons who are so close to the president of the republic like marafa hamidu yaya who is in prison uh efrem enoni who was uh uh, who was assistant secretary general a prime minister who is who was in prison though he, he he went for medical checkup and the host people were so close to the president they are in prison what makes why should you allow yourself to think that oh this person has connection to the president that that is the problem that we is it because we, we, they we, we feel uh, uh, it defeated yes. when we haven't tried yes we feel defeated like Leo is asking if isn't isn't it possible for our parliamentarians to hold these people accountable isn't it possible for these issues to be raised in 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 the in the, the house of law question these ministers yes. tell them all of those things it's possible to raise them the fact that somebody was punished here doesn't mean that tomorrow somebody can be held uh, accountable to something you never know when the tables can turn around a small um uprising or an, a campaign or something can bring people be, take people behind bars because even it gets to one particular extent so the fact that these people continue to misbehave this way doesn't mean that we will keep keeping silent because we think that they are connected to the president of the republic but does it not also give us the sense that they themselves their hands are tied they are involved in those shady shady deals themselves the problem is when, when, I, when I look at the, the <laughs> National Assembly, the first thing is that the, 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 the ruling party has an upper hand, Leo. That's the first thing. So no matter what you do, you dance, you sing, you, you can play drums in the, in the House of Assembly, but the, whatever the party wants will stay. How many of you are there to vote against them? Okay. Now, um, though we are looking at uh, the judiciary, the the legislative arm and uh, the senate what 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 has been the role of uh, other instances like conac and if and the rest to check corrupt practices have they been effective to call persons who may be using the president the name of the president because we know there are persons who just leave they come in in uh, black prados maybe in 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 in, a, in an office see the Boya Council and they tell you that they are, they are from the presidency and they get money from people, they go to Limbe, they go to Romenda and these things around Douala, these instances are Nif, Konak and the rest, why have they not been able to check uh, this all this while? You ask a question that is a question that has its response. Okay. La Konak, wait, who is called La Konak? It is the one who is pointed to be the organizer of de tous ces vols. Mais est-ce que quand, est-ce que quand il, 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 il te nomme, il te dit de ne pas travailler. Je vous dis, vous ne pouvez pas nommer quelqu'un, vous ne pouvez pas être euh, euh, cité dans plusieurs affaires et vous nommez un policier. Vous vous présentez ce policier à la face du monde que voilà celui qui est là pour faire respecter la loi. Oh, lui, vous, vous qui l'avez nommé, vous êtes déjà <rire> un cas palpant de ce que ce policier devra exercer son rôle. Non, le problème ici c'est que justement la responsabilité première incarne d'abord à celui qui nomme, celui qui a le pouvoir de nommer. C'est de lui que va tout ce désordre. Euh, je me rappelle euh, au nom d'on, lors de son procès, avait cité Mme Chantal Bia, première dame du Cameroun. Et du coup, il a reçu une massue. Vous vous rendez compte que, même si vous allez citer toutes les institutions du Cameroun, j'ai même souvent envie de dire que si on prend les institutions qui sont aux États-Unis, on les met à la disposition de la machine gouvernementale de ce pays. Ces institutions ne, ne vont rien faire. Parce que justement, celui qui a le pouvoir de nommer est dans une logique certaine. C'est de satisfaire davantage ses ambitions propres. À partir du moment où vous, vous, pas, euh, vous ne vous portez pas en faux 
avec son pouvoir. Parce que quand on a rappelé ici Marafa, effectivement Marafa, lors de son exercice, et plusieurs autres ministres n'avaient jamais imaginé un jour qu'ils pouvaient se retrouver là où ils sont aujourd'hui. Et quand on suit de façon logique la vie politique au Cameroun, on se rend compte que ces gens-là qui ont été mis en prison ne, ne, sont, ne, sont, ne, ne se retrouvent pas là nécessairement parce qu'ils ont, ils ont eu des malversations. Voyez-vous, si on veut effectivement entrer dans la logique du contrôle, il n'y a aucun ministre qui sera assis ou il est assis. Parce que effectivement, tous sont englués. Maintenant, le problème demeure. Pourquoi donc il est su, il est connu qu'il y a des malversations Il y a des gens qui, en réalité, sont nommés par favoritisme, comme, comme on, dit, on dit certains. Il y a des gens qui sont nommés par reconnaissance. Il y a des, hommes qui sont, il y a des gens qui sont nommés par affinité. Que lorsqu'ils sont euh, installés à leur fonction ne peuvent que exercer euh, ce, ce privilège qu'ils ont pour en réalité servir leur ambition personnelle et personne ne sera là pour, pour leur interpeller donc cela nous ramène à croire donc que le, 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 la responsabilité avant d'être vers ceux qui perpétuent ces actes elle est d'abord de celui qui nomme de celui qui organise okay. est-ce qu'il trouve ça un mal s'il ne trouve pas un mal ne demandez pas ce que le mal soit, 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 soit soigné ou bien soit éradiqué. Okay. Donc, le président de la République a l'obligation, et s'il ne le fait pas, alors il doit être il mérite d'être pointé du doigt, comme celui qui est l'instigateur de toutes les dérives, de tous les détournements, de tous ces gens qui sont nommés, qui prennent leur famille, à ligne dans les listes, on a vu le cas de l'école de, 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 de l'ENAM, il y a plusieurs concours au Cameroun où c'est connu qu'effectivement, il y a une élite, euh, une tribu qu'on appelle le gouvernement, qui a sa logique, qui s'accaparent de tous les privilèges de la République. Et quand ils sont indexés, ils viennent vous brandir le visage du chef de l'État, ils viennent vous brandir les éloges du chef de l'État, qui lui aussi est en réalité partie prenante. Parce que s'il ne frappe pas, s'il si a nommé les institutions comme la Kona que vous avez cité tout à l'heure, okay. et qu'au jour d'aujourd'hui, nous continuons à enregistrer ces malversations, il est fondamental que la Kunana n'a qu'été une solution cosmétique. Ok. Uh, some persons are writing from the Boya prisons uh, saying that uh, they have been put in the same cell uh, with uh, former fighters, uh, Ambassadorian fighters. Uh, they're asking whether they have been put in the same cell to be killed by these guys because uh, it is uh, fighting every day. We hope that uh, something be, something uh, be done. We don't know whether the information is uh, true, but uh, that is what uh two persons have written from the boya prison this evening we hope everything is well there i know you all will not read uh, this message but know for sure that paul bia is the architect of all the corruption thanks samuel is writing from muteng and samuel we cannot read all the messages now <laughs> let me read it good evening mr liu and the panelists uh, why is that uh, doctor is always talking against the odeshi the matter is that uh, the boat are killing our children. Okay, Eddie is writing from Mutengene. Good evening to you, Ode. Uh, <laughs> uh, good evening, Mr. Leo and uh, crew. I can remember very well a phone somewhere in the Northwest uh, region who defied almost all the president, asked all authorities not to bring him to answer for his crimes. Now tell me why such a fellow will not glorify him and ask his followers to do the same. Noel writing from Yaoundé. The president empowers ministers and directors who swindle state funds and those who insult the judicial system. Ministers are comfortable with motions of support as a solution to our problems. Tata. Paul writing from Ndop. We <clears throat> Greetings Mr. Kum and dear panelists. The answer is yes. John in Mayo Banyu. We, the, pe the young people, are really frustrated with the re leadership uh, such in uh, power. Uh, good evening, Mr. Leo. I am enjoying your program. Why would things not go the way it is going when he is uh, a president who can't even go around the country to see for himself what is happening? Sami is writing from uh, Kumba. Uh, this one reads, uh, good evening to you all in the studio. In fact, that some Camerounians see themselves as superior to others is severely killing us and if our leaders do not walk away from that ideology then 2035 will be a total mess okay uh terence is writing from muteng and eh? mr ikwe from kumba says uh, good evening all in the panel my media prime 
Mr. Liu, my friend, was locked up in a prison cell and was released in the midnight because he was a, he was a CPDM. <laughs> okay, that is a favoritism. Now, greetings, I'm Dominique from Mutengen. When I was to enter the public contract, I was advised to join CPDM party to so that uh, things can be easier for me. Okay. Uh, good evening, Mr. Liu and all panelists. Most of the members of this ruling party, in particular, are using the name of the President of the Republic to gain personal to make personal gains. That is why you always hear "crush my back, I crush your own." Mark Fish writing from Mile Four in Limbe. Um, good evening. Mr. Liu, in fact, anglophones are the source of their own problems. One of the few English uh, programs on TV, you invite an anglophone, decides to speak in French. Okay. <laughs> okay, Laura Ngum, uh, okay. Uh, good evening to you, Mr. Liu, to all the panelists. Please, Mr. Liu, help me ask uh, Mr. Quinn Williams how he got that name, Quinn. He's from Com or not? <laughs> and everything concerning Cameroon is programming. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Nkwai, I'll answer you. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, the ministers, directors, and general man managers who occupy public institutions do not know their job description because they all hide under the president, and each time they are being called to perform their duty, you hear saying that the presidents have set, sent me. The president said uh, that, and so on. Nincho Gilbert is writing from uh, Tico. Nincho. This one says, uh, On va vraiment ce pays, où va, vra où va vraiment ce pays, et j'ai mar masqué mon numéro de peur d'être repéré. Okay. Um, now, this way of doing things, does it actually kill creativity and hard work and uh, making many more persons to think that the only way to survive and make it big in the country is to join uh, the CPDM like some persons are writing? Sure, Mr. Liu, very true, because uh, of our persons who maybe entered genuinely into competitive exams and one year, two years, they were promoted maybe because of their political stance and... Not necessarily the CPDM, there are people who call themselves the BIist, that is, sure, everything sure. is just sure. to place President Paul Bia sure. or... We, if there is even Mesanga uh, Nyamdi, mm -hmm. who was uh, the BIist... Uh, Association and there are also you to call this another association yes, of yes, yes. But I just feel that Mr. Liu, the, 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 the main thing is that, like I said before, now in Cameroon, the president has successfully created an image that so many people feel and think that for you to actually get favor, then you need to belong to the team. That is why. If there is something I, I always say, I want somebody authoritatively someday to show me a governor, a minister, who is of the opposition, who is not of the CPDM. When it is campaign period, it is very glaring that most offices are locked because they tell you the head for the Northwest, for instance, the head of the CPDM team for the Northwest, Philip Muyan, Southwest, uh, 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 Peter Mafani Mosonge. Now, and when you look at even at the level of division, a majority of those who go down to the field to campaign for the CPDM are people who are working with the government. And a majority of people do so because they want favor, and it reduces creativity. People cannot actually do what they can do well because they know that they have that favor from the president. They know that even if you go irrespective of what you do, it is going to come back. There is a time I said something here, Mr. Liu, that I've seen a mayor who, is, who was very powerful, who gave the people what they wanted so far as projects were concerned. But at one time, because he disagreed with his minister, he was taken out of office. So for you to stay within power in Cameroon, if you want to really stay in power in Cameroon, it is not showing that you, can, you are too powerful. If not, the general manager of of a station closes his door and that same station announces that he has been dismissed <laughs> when you look at it it's very complex it tells you that somebody somewhere has that power and if you want to stay within power 
so far as the country is concerned, then you must toe the line, without which it will not work. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Liu, like you rightly asked, it kills the creativity. There are people who enter into public service out of merit. We cannot say here that everybody who is into public service maybe knew somebody somewhere. No. There are people who enter the public service out of merit. But now while in office, you are bound, maybe because of the reality of the field, I'm out of the public service, but I have people who are inside. I ask them myself, for instance, when you leave ENS, what do you do? He tells you that you're asked to choose three regions that you want to be posted. But now, Mr. Leo, when you say, for instance, that you've chosen Dua, literal, you need to know somebody somewhere, for instance, for you to be sent to Lycée Polyvalent de Bonaberry. Because the whole literal is very vast and very big. And anywhere they send you, you cannot grumble because you chose literal. If you chose, for instance, Northwest, and they send you to Mr. Joe, they send you to Womb, there is someone who chooses the Northwest and they send the person to, 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 up to Bamenda Town. So it is not the reality in the field, Mr. Liu, that conditions people because they want to stay within power, because they want to benefit from power, they need to toe the line. When you don't toe the line, you will go off. We have heard, listen to ministers who tell you openly, if you want to be with the system, then join the system. If you cannot beat them, then join them. Okay, uh, Mr. Liu, good evening to you and uh, the panelists. Uh, there is a problem in Cameroon because we see a government delegate refuses uh, to go to instructions from the minister, like uh, the case of Douala, when the government delegate sacked some workers. So I see a student like, uh, okay, mm, your name is not there. Good evening to you. Uh, good evening to you in the studio please uh, we never knew we were going to have a channel like this to express ourselves in english but our brothers there is speaking their french <laughs> okay uh christian is writing from uh Bermenda. christian cameroon is a bilingual uh, country uh, why won't they use his name to perpetuate evil evil begets evil birds of a feather flock together the fact that he declared war then his name <laughs> Eva is writing from uh, Kumba. Good evening to you, Eva. Good evening, Mr. Kum Leonard, and to you all in the studio. This program is special, and I have been waiting for this program for long now. I just want to thank the head of state of Cameroon for giving me this opportunity to write to my media prime for the wonderful programs, <laughs> for the wonderful programs. <laughs> Mohammed and friends writing from Morocco, Casablanca. Mohammed, good evening to you, and uh, extend our love to your friends out there. Uh, good evening, Mr. Liu, the master mind of all that is happening in Cameroon because he, he makes uh, his government to be so once you praise him and join his party, you are qualified for appointment. They don't check your academic qualification. Every civil servant that wants promotion must join the party. Cyril is writing from Ireland. Good evening to you, Cyril. Uh, greetings, uh, Mr. Coombe. Please, we are talking position in Cameroon. Please, the Prime Minister shouldn't be mentioned because the Prime Minister in Cameroon is just like your flat screen TV in your house where your children can turn on and off. Okay. Raymond is uh, writing from the United Arab Emirates. Now, the President of the Republic, uh, so, oh, that does not say the President of the Republic, the, juris the judiciary has sent some of the close collaborators of uh, the President of the Republic to jail, and many more are uh, being called to appear before the Special Criminal uh, Tribunal. Do you have the impression that this tendency of uh, plundering uh, state resources in, in the name of the canopy of the the party or the president of the republic has changed are people scared enough not to engage in these activities if that was true then it would have been limited mm -hmm. i remember there's a minister whom of recent actually announced the cost of tarring a kilometer of road just that cost would have sent him to prison because in West African nations, like for example, Ivory Coast, a kilometer of road is that for one billion francs CFA. 
but in Cameroon it starts for 7 billion CFA francs. That already is a problem. When you see um, people pointing out that a bag of cement is 15,000 francs, is it a special bag of cement? Uh, you see people present that uh, a, a camion of, uh, of sun is costing close to 500,000 francs. Where is that sun coming from? Is it special sun that's imported? You see, with all that, if truly the sending of guys into prison for embezzlement was really the solution, most of these guys would have stopped. And one thing I also want to say is that it is difficult to actually change the habit of a rat. Once it knows how to steal, it will keep on stealing. If it eats granite, whether you put a trap, it will still come to eat the granite from there. So, asking that question whether it will change anything has changed nothing. It is already something that is embedded in these uh, guys. And they think that because of their position, they should be able to build wealth for their children. So they begin to swindle wealth and keep even though they cannot use it, believing that they are building a future for their kids. But one of the things that some of them fail to understand is that things are changing. You might keep all that. For example, we remember a minister who, who stole money and kept in his house and when they were coming, he decided to burn part of it. That already makes you to understand that these guys, they do not even understand. Okay. What it means to amass, amass wealth. Mm -hmm. Wealth is not money that is kept. Okay. Money is value. Okay, they should they should build <laughs> many more uh, Dwala malls. <laughs> yeah. And recruit and recruit Camonians. And recruit Camonians to walk yes. in there. Yes. Instead of taking the money and stocking it somewhere which is being misused mm -hmm. and burning some. That is to tell you, Mr. Leo, the state of things. So I'm simply coming back to say whether they lock all of them the next that they put they will still want to steal okay because it is a system and until that system is dismantled you will have the same result whosoever takes that position how do we fix this given get get young get young blood into the system this this is corruption already we are talking about mm. and like he was saying that if uh, this the next chain of persons will still be to act the same, right? I wanted to to cue into what a uh, prince said. Mm. When you have, when your brother is at the top position in an organization, and they need maybe an accountant, you study accountancy, and you realize that in his family there are five of you who study accountancy, and there is one person who is outrightly good in it. What do you think he's going to choose? You or the the, the outsider who comes to apply for that position. We uh, that's this, this it comes to this. Let's say it here. You will normally choose your brother no. because he wants to enrich the family. Come on. What I'm arriving at is that what I'm arriving is at is that the temptation is there. All right. So this thing about uh, uh, corrupt is corruption to me, and it's, it begins with us all. Because in our little corners, there are things that we do that are corrupt practices. But we start, we are pointing fingers at those people, yes. Because they are people that we selected. We want them to represent us well. We want them to change this, how things are done. We want them to be examples in, in, in our society. That's why we voted them out there. And that's what we want them to deliver. But we need, it needs to start with us. And President Pobia needs to sit up when reports are... Uh, 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 carried out and, and is proven that somebody is guilty of something. He needs to start recruiting people who reflect what his objectives are. Mm -hmm. You will not re recruit somebody who would go out there tomorrow and be to and do something totally different. Because when I look at some ministers, I saw an award somewhere, Leo, mm -hmm. and I saw the names of some ministers who have been handed over this award. And first of all, when I saw that award, I was saying, oh, no, this award looks good. It looks genuine. It's not like some other awards where you people just giving uh, uh, certificate to people for, for money, to make money. When I saw this award, I was happy. But when I saw the name of a minister whom I know has been the worst minister in Cameroon since he was appointed. When I looked at 
at his uh, being named politician of the year or man of the year and look at his portfolio of this year okay. i say no okay you say you say no uh special greetings to you tala uh council tala aga who is also our colleague watching us from kumba greetings to you mamindum uh sally out there in kumba also good evening mr leo and uh, to all of you in the studio and especially to sister kevin brenda mr leo mr paul we are being vendor is uh maybe the cause of all the problems we have today in Cameroon because he's so uh not active okay brajo writing from jackiri okay uh by satala aga says greetings to the crew i enjoy the program special greetings to my brother dilian barista tala is writing from kumba good evening to you uh council uh good evening mr leo babila writing from kumba the government in cameroon under cpm with paul b as the president is a yes sir if you disagree with yes sir then you are out that's why you don't have check and balance in conclusion cameroon is just like a one party uh, system good evening mr leo um a young from kumba i want to ask you who goes to campaign for the president who keep him who keeps him in office who works to keep him there so who is he please answer me wow you are now the journalist <laughs> uh greetings to you all i'm loving uh, your program god bless you for us eva is writing from kumba mr leo and the lovely panel good evening people use the name of the president to plunder cameroon i remember late uh, madame Foni used to say and i quote voter pour le président pour bia et le rdpc et fait les affaires sans payer les impôts should some business people be exempted from taxes while other pay Patience is writing from uh, Douala. Good evening. You guys are doing a great job. Our country has this problem where people who are qualified, talented, and are perfect for the jobs are being kept aside. And those with relatives from high places with no qualifications so so, whatever are given the job and they kill the morals of those who work and studied for the jobs given away. A government needs to be reshuffled, okay? Um, Mo writing from uh, Yaoundi. Um, no, Esther from Yaoundi says, uh, Good evening, Mr. Liu. Say hi to Prof. Mark Prince Joel has been missing. Welcome, Mr. Liu. One day, wind go blow and foul your last go show. <laughs> Esther is writing from uh, Yaoundi. Uh, thank you, Esther. Okay. Um, Okay, there's a message I'm trying to, to look. Don't oh, blame me that I don't read their messages. <laughs> I noted one I wanted to, to read to you. You just, talk, you just yeah, spoke now. Now, uh, how do we get out of this situation in Cameroon? Is it uh, possible now? Yeah, I must say something. Okay. Uh, to one of your uh, uh, message, messages I read here. Mm -hmm. I choose to express myself in French because I'm um, from French speaking language. So I master best the French, mm -hmm. but I must say that I'm a Cameroonian, and I and I'm a Republican. I believe in one country, mm -hmm. two federal states. Mm -hmm. so they are the asking because they see the name coin. So I'm from Northwest, okay. and this is the problematic of the Anglophone crisis. Okay. We are not fighting uh, <laughs> languages. No. Mm -hmm. It's not about language. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I will still continue in the French. <laughs> okay. So uh, <laughs> the <laughs> the panelists will. Donc, la solution, effectivement, c'est que quand il y a longévité au pouvoir, il y a dérive, il y a péril dans la République. On ne peut pas trouver des solutions que de dénoncer cet état de longévité. Voyez-vous, les vieilles habitudes ont la peau dure. Quand un homme s'arroge le pouvoir de faire 40 ans, 40 ans en exercice et qui tient tout l'appareil gouvernemental, vous comprenez bien que les gens ne peuvent plus être là par efficacité. Cette routine qui fait que les mauvaises habitudes, le goût de l'enrichissement illicite a pris corps. Vous ne demanderez pas à quelqu'un qui mange euh, du mouton tous les jours de se lever un matin et de jeûner pendant trois jours. C'est impossible. Donc, la première euh, solution, à mon sens, et pour nous les politiciens, c'est que le régime Bia doit apprendre à laisser. Il doit, ce régime doit apprendre à permettre qu'effectivement, 
cette compétition politique se fasse et qu'on assiste à une alternance, et une alternance politique dans, dans la paix et dans l'ordre des choses. Une fois que euh, le régime Bia, parce qu'il a tout donné aux Camerounais, c'est-à-dire euh, pour ceux qui vont peut-être le flécher, le flécher sans comprendre que l'homme a quand même utilisé sa vie, parce que pour un chef d'État fait 30, 40 ans au pouvoir, en réalité ce n'est pas donné. Puis ils ont fait un mandat, ils sont partis. C'est ont même, on même, on même démissionné, ont même laissé le pouvoir avant, avant la, 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 la fin de leur mandat. Donc, voir un homme qui peut tenir 40 ans à un poste de président de la République, il faut croire qu'il a, qu a quand même il a donné okay. son aide mm -hmm. et qu'il est temps pour lui de laisser et que nous les Camerounais, nous puissions organiser les choses. En ce moment-là, on aura dans le temps de effectivement faire le tour sur tout ce qui n'a pas marché et impulser les nouvelles dynamiques pour remettre le pays sur le droit chemin et continuer sur la voie de, de l'émergence que le feu présent à Ijo. Mais, mais lui aussi, il est, il est Camerounais. Donc, good evening, Mr. Mr. Liu. And if uh, the minister wants to do their work, well, uh, let them stand for the truth. Let them stand for the truth and go to prison for the truth, then playing, then playing game in favor of a particular person and uh, go to prison for lies telling. Let them learn uh, from others who are suffering now while the beneficial are enjoying in their homes. Pastor Tambo Felix Eyong, uh, writing from Mamfi Root. Uh, okay. uh, good evening, Mr. Liu. It's because uh, the president is not active. That's why I'm Jerry, writing from Dubai. Uh, good evening to you, uh, Jerry. Good evening, Mr. Liu. Those who are in prison, as you see, are only there when uh, the president himself so wishes. All those you are referring to are hand, hand clappers and are not uh, clean themselves. Just one or two opposition uh, PMs may point out some evil doers, but their voices are never heard. Ndo Neng, writing from Ginicom. Okay, um, let's take some few messages and then. This one says, uh, the president empowers ministers and directors who swindle state funds and those who insult the judicial system. Ministers are comfortable with motions of support. Okay, uh, Paul, good evening, Mr. Liu and uh, the panelists. No empire reigns forever. A day is coming when all those who hang on to the name of the president and the CPDM party will pick uh, their shock. I'm Victor writing from Tico. Good evening to you, Victor. Good evening. Uh, Mr. Liu, is it true uh, that schools in Douala has been locked up because of COVID-19? Blink is writing from Batibo. It's a lie. Uh, Blink, it's a lie. Hello, Mr. Liu. I am Aruna from Jakiri. My friend wife was transferred from uh, Far North region to Ndop because she knows one director in Yaoundé. Okay. Good evening, uh, Mr. Liu. I love your program. Is DJ from Bafusam. God bless you. Thank you, DJ. Good evening, uh, Mr. Liu. Uh, the system is a reflection of itself. Authoritarian rules characterized by covenant uh, corruption. Terence is writing from Limbe. Good evening, Mr. Liu. Remember those ministers went to Yaoundé in search of jobs. Marafa spoke the truth after he was in prison. Philo writing from whom okay good evening to you i feel low i don't know what part you're writing from the parliamentarians and senators can talk because they are not legitimately voted by the people they claim to be representing jackson is writing from loom uh, this one says uh, may the angel of god visit you in your dreams uh, good evening Eboa rene writing from kumba Eboa. <laughs> Thank you very much. We are going to take a short break. When we come back, we discuss our second topic for tonight. Welcome back. Uh, you are uh, watching Prime uh, on my media prime. This time around, we are going to be asking whether President Bia will heed to Cardinal Tumi's amnesty call. We remember that uh, two, three days back, uh, Cardinal Tumi 
called on President Paul Bia to grant amnesty to those involved in the struggle in the southwest and northwest uh, region. I'm talking about uh, the Anglophone uh, crisis. Could this be one of the messages he got from uh, the guys who kidnapped him? Yeah, he got this message from um, the guys who kidnapped him. But I just want to say that... He, he, that they should grant the amnesty? Amnesty. They, they, they want peace. They want ceasefire. They want uh, a dialogue. Mm. Sorry, dialogue. Mm. My, my, my problem is that President Tumi had already been involved in the Anglophone General Conference. Mm. He, he never had the authorization to hold this meeting in Cameroon. And will it be this time that the, he will be listened to? The next thing is that he, you, you, he has been disregarded several times by the same people who kidnapped him. Or his position, you know, his position is not for secession. He has been disregarded. Same people kidnapped him and asked him to send the message to President Pobia. If President Pobia was listening to some to people, it wouldn't be just now, and we can't not be coming up from the lions. Then mm -hmm. it, it's like <laughs> it's like a threat. It's more like a threat than a call. I, I, I will say this. If the president doesn't listen to me when he called the Anglophone General Conference, I don't think it's going to happen now. Mm. So to me, to me is just doing it to save his, uh, his head. Let me put it this way. So that he can be able to cross, uh, go across Kitunja to Bui Division. Because this call, is just a, he's just doing it. It's his role as a curate to call for peace, to call for those concerned to negotiate so that we can have peace. But Talk, getting any reaction from President Paul Bia is a waste of time. That's my opinion. Okay, it's a waste of time. Waste you of think happen. so? Um, now, when you look at the approach adopted by Cardinal Tumi, he has been consistent from the onset, even though uh, very tired, he keeps talking. True. Is, do you think that uh, other men of God should also emulate and push uh, that force? It is just been obvious that uh, as Men of God, men of God are supposed to be, let me say, the conscience mm. of the state. It is true that uh, most of the times we have been made to believe that uh, uh, the religious people should not get involved in the politics of a nation. Not involving the politics does not mean you should stop speaking the truth. So, the let me say, the church has to speak. Because majority of those involved are Christians. Mm -hmm. And if not Christians, they are Muslims. And so I think that these religious bodies have a place in maintaining the stability and peace of this nation. And so they have a voice that they are supposed to lift up. The only problem is the intimidation that a lot of them have suffered has resulted to fear. And I want to point this uh, clear. When you look at Cardinal Tumi, uh, I Brenda mentioned that might be he was just passing a message. No, I don't think he was passing the message that those guys gave him. He maintained his point. He does not want secession. Those guys are for secession. He does not want secession. He wants federality. And he went for that. Now it is a plea to the president. In order for us to have peace, please grant a general amnesty that will cover everybody. In that case, that is what he thinks is the best solution that he can give to the president. And we are living in a nation where the advice of the cleric has little or nothing to do. They are considered to be men of the church, and so they have nothing to do with the affairs of the uh, 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 Is that not society. the position you people have given yourselves? It is not us that give, uh, give ourselves. Why? Because I remember a minister once made it plain that we have to keep the two divided. The church remains in church 
and let politicians do what they is do. the kingdom of god not suffering uh violence <laughs> and they are failing to take it by force and the violence are supposed to take it by force <laughs> i don't think that is the best interpretation of it the church has its rule like i said the church is supposed to remain the conscience of the society mm -hmm. if our leaders are going off the path we need to call them to order we need to tell them this what you are doing is wrong mm. yeah and if you look at it mr leo for the past why a lot of ministers of the gospel have become afraid to speak because they think that a man can take away their lives they forget to know the god who actually ordained them the god who called them so holding your voice back is actually endorsing the acts of violence that we are seeing which i think is not supposed to be a part and parcel of a servant of god we are supposed to talk out talking out is not condemning people but is pointing the truth and showing the path we are supposed to be the light and so let's shine and that is the error which most of my brothers have okay. done because of fear yeah that is, uh, once again uh tomorrow we are going to uh, expect men of god in this um <laughs> panel again tomorrow to tell us the way forward but uh, when you look at cardinal Tumi telling president paul Bia to grant amnesty he's talking on whose behalf do if if president paul Bia saying i have granted amnesty would the separatists even uh, agree to the, to the amnesty do we <coughs> really recognize it could i call I think so, Mr. Liu. I think so. I think, think that, so. Uh, yeah, they, they say they, Mr. they, Mr. they Mr. say Mr. the one. They say the one dialogue you are talking Mr. about. Mr. 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 Let me come. Let me mm. come. I think that um, repeatedly, Cardinal Tumi is a household name so far as the Angophone struggle is concerned. Mm -hmm. He has played a pivotal role from start till now. Cardinal Tumi, like Brenda Riley said, was if not the main brain behind the all anglophone general conference had died because certain individuals said no way he cannot hold even during the major national dialogue cardinal to me headed a commission that had a very decisive role and that commission had to do with the return of refugees and the reconstruction of the northwest southwest and even after that i think cardinal to me and uh, bishop Kia were sent to the northwest and the southwest objective to still talk to the people and when you look at the role he has played so far, I believe that Mr. Liu is not standing, he's not saying something that doesn't matter, that he doesn't master. The first, the, another thing I want to say is the fact that look, we should say here that repeatedly the call from all organizations within and without the country has always been the release of the separatists that are in Kondinge. Because, and a call for another dialogue. I don't think that if the president should grant amnesty and they say that Sisiko Ayukta with the Mancho BBCs and the others, that he should come out or refuse. I don't think so. Because everybody... That's that's another ball game. When we get to that bridge, we'll cross. But I think that the major thing is, as of now, if Cardinal Tumi comes and is sending a message to the president that I think these guys should be released, it means that he's standing on he knows where he's standing, Mr. Liu. Do not forget that Cardinal to me. <laughs> no, Mr. Okay. Liu, let, let, let us be honest. Cardinal to me cannot just get up one morning and say what he's saying. If he's saying what he's saying. He has been saying it. Yeah. Before the age, the agency, when he held his press conference, he kept saying. But he's been saying this. That, that is still not. He's arrested. Is, so it's, it's not like it's a new but thing. Even, even though he has been singing, that, that is still is not uh, stop them from. That's why Mr. Liu remember. Can you follow the interrogation? Yeah. They say you are black. Mr. Liu, there is something I've always said, and mm. I think that, you know, when the separatists kidnap people, it is to pass an agenda. Cardinal to me is a public figure. It means that once Cardinal to me is kidnapped, even those of the international, it, it, goes, it goes viral. Cardinal to me is not maybe not one, one primary school teacher. Maybe a certain prince who has no name. No. When Cardinal Tumi was king, now we saw the, 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 the movement within and without. And when he comes out, he says, President, I think you should release these people. It's a step towards solving the problem. 
It says grant uh, general amnesty eh, for everybody. Correct. It is a step towards solving the problem. Yeah, but my question, my question to you is: Would they, would they recognize it? Is he even speaking on their behalf? Because I've read the post when I posted this thing today on our page. Many of many persons say Cardinal is saying his own. <laughs> but, 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 Mr. Leo, mm -hmm. whether the cardinal, I believe the cardinal to me, first of all, far from being a, a clergy, is a father. And he is somebody who has always preached peace from start till end. Cardinal to me, to him, I want to like feel or think what he's thinking. I want to feel that if these guys are released, it's already a step towards solving. It, 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 when you get to that my, bridge, we'll cross it. My question, my question is not the posture of Cardinal to me. He is saying what you are saying. Yes. Yes. But would, do people actually, is he speaking the minds of, of those the people? people? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Leo, I'm not, I'm not saying Cardinal to me, <laughs> but there is something I've said here. And I'm saying that if the Cardinal had spent days with those guys, comes out. Which couldn't have been done to reform. Yes comes out and tells the president, Mr. President, grant an amnesty. The cardinal knows what he's doing. Mm. And I don't want to look at it to the level of those who say that he doesn't have the mandate to do it. Cardinal, to me, is somebody who, who has substance. And if he says Mr. President That's is... Sure. <laughs> and the people who kidnapped him had their intentions. Remember that I said that. Which should be transferred through phone call? Brenda, you know, the, 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 to me, the crisis has, we are four years inside. And even what the Cardinal is saying is what so many persons have said before now. Okay. Because, uh, Mr. Liu, Mr. Liu, because if you can remember, the amnesty is talking about, we know that during the major national dialogue, some ringleaders of the separatists were sent invitations, like the Magbar Italian. We, it was all over. But now the question was, how safe would they be should they come? And I think it is that angle that the cardinal is looking at. That there should be something like a presidential decree that says, okay, if these guys all come, do not be touched. Now, when this, when that first stage is already solved, that they are giving amnesty, then the other, the, the other ball game will be looked into. But I think for now, cardinal knows on what he's saying, which I think is very correct. Yeah, uh, my question was whether those other guys are going to recognize what the cardinal would the government. I listen to the cardinal and answer. Is it, le, le, is it likely? Oui, c'est un problème très profond parce que, euh, comme on dit, on a laissé quatre ans passer et beaucoup de choses ont pris corps et se sont, se sont mûrement implantées. C'est un problème qui est devenu complexe, un problème au départ qui avait des solutions visibles et faciles à aborder, mais le temps a rendu justement la situation assez complexe. Vous posez la question si euh, le gouvernement va écouter d'une bonne oreille les recommandations ou alors euh, l'appel les... du cardinal. Oui, oui. Euh, euh, vous savez, on ne va pas inventer la roue ou alors aujourd'hui on ne va pas euh, faire comme si on ignorait le système de fonctionnement de notre gouvernement. Rappelons-nous que le même cardinal Christian Toumi avait organisé la All Anglophone Conference et il avait exprimé sa bonne foi pour permettre euh, aux anglophones entre parenthèses, de se retrouver et de débattre sur les problèmes profonds et les pistes de solutions. Et lorsque le projet a été présenté au gouvernement, nous avons tous vécu ce qui s'est passé. Or, le, nous, nous, nous sommes au moins d'accord que le cardinal traduisait, traduisait sa bonne foi en mettant en, en, mettant en place cette, cette initiative. Est-ce que le gouvernement va cette fois-ci écouter le cardinal Christian Toumi euh, J'ai tendance à reprendre par la négative. Au regard euh, de tous les appels, parce que nous, au MRC, nous avons euh, mis sur la table la même, la même problématique, l'amnistie. La, la, On a demandé au gouvernement de, de donner une amnistie au, au, à toutes les personnes qui ont été incarcérées dans le cadre de la, de la crise anglophone pour qu'ensemble, on commence à faire asseoir les bases euh, d'une probable ou alors d'une possible euh, euh, réconciliation nationale et faire revenir la paix. Donc, quand j'ai fini par euh, rappeler ces faits, je veux quand même un peu m'inquiéter sur euh, le kidnapping ou alors, euh, je ne sais pas quoi, 
l'enlèvement du cardinal Tsikessant. Mais pour me poser la question, que effectivement, qui sont ceux qui ont arrêté le cardinal Tsikessant Toumi et qu'est-ce qu'ils défendent Parce qu'il me semble que la crise anglophone du Judas porte beaucoup de revers. Il y a beaucoup d'idéologies. Il y a ceux qui sont en réalité des fédéralistes, qui sont, qui sont moins violents. Il y a ceux qui sont des sécessionnistes, qui sont radicaux. Il y a ceux qui sont sécessionnistes, qui sont moins radicaux. Et justement, ceux qui ont pris des armes, est-ce qu'ils sont d'une seule faction Parce que, voyons-nous voyons, 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 voyons à ce qu'on assiste, on a des cas quand même isolés, des, des, des gens qui se passent pour des amba boys, c'est-à-dire pour ceux qui réclament la cause de la séparation, mais qui perpétuent au quotidien des actes qui sont des actes qui n'ont rien à voir avec l'idée d'une séparation. Alors, quand on a fini par, ce, par, par faire ce tour-là, on peut donc comprendre que la complexité de la question fait en sorte que euh, 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 les appels qui ne sont pas que celles que le, le, le cardinal qui s'est mis à, 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 à proposer, les appels qui jusqu'ici n'ont pas trouvé écho favorable, qu'au moins pour une seule fois, le gouvernement se penche sur les vraies questions, parce que disons-nous que on a laissé beaucoup de temps couler et beaucoup de choses se sont faites. Alors il est temps de revenir aux solutions premières, c'est-à-dire l'amnistie, le dialogue et poser les vraies bases, ah, ah, okay. poser ah, les vraies bases d'une république qui peut cohabiter, soit si c'est dans une logique de la fédération, mm -hmm. qu'on pose les vraies bases des lois qui peuvent permettre cette cette euh, je veux dire quoi, cette vie, cette vie républicaine. How, how, how do they call how do they call what is happening now that if you are an Amber boy, there's one of uh, uh, General Yeke's uh, ally who is in Boya, he had a, a, a Facebook live today, and today at the governor's office, 11 more came in from uh, Libya, mm -hmm. uh, they are received. How do they call that? Because we are talking about amnesty. But if you are an Amber boy today, you drop your, your weapons and you go to either the GZR or you go to the government offices, you are received, and then what is this? Is that not also part of amnesty? So how do they call that? It's part of amnesty. It's part of uh, uh, amnesty because some of them are free now. Uh, yeah, many of them. Many of them are free, even though I heard someone complaining that number to precise, saying that he, he hasn't been, I can't have been, his I can't have been be handed over to him. But they are free. He is dining and whining. He can drive he can drive to Kumba and tell the people of Kumba that this thing will not happen here again. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> they are free. That's another that's that's amnesty I will call but the thing is looking at how genuine it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, how genuine that is. For now we we, we have seen uh, you talk about General Yeke we have seen those those young boys coming and saying they need they are stopping they will not do this again and they spent two or three months and the next moment you see them amongst us they are amongst us there are some there but there are some amongst yeah, but us the, the, the question is they were at war with the state now the president I'm sure because this came from a, an end of year speech by the president of the republic who said that They yes, they should come. Yes. yes. Was that not also an amnesty? How do they call that? It's amnesty. Yes. It's amnesty. Yes. Because you were fighting, you had arms, an opportunity. and then now you come out, you are not killed, you are living. Je pense How que le problème, le problème n'est pas ce niveau. Parce que si on veut regarder le problème sur cet angle, on ne va rien résoudre. On va faire une, une marche sur place. Le problème, c'est un, un problème fondamental. Le cardinal et il, tous il les faut, autres. Il faut aller au-delà de ce Il faut poser un acte fort. Et yeah, l'acte fort, yeah. justement, c'est mm -hmm. de gracier ou du moins d'accorder mm -hmm. l'amnistie à, à, à ces personnes, beaucoup plus ces personnes, ces leaders qui sont incarcérés, pour que ça porte un coup assez fort. Pas, pas, et pas assez... What I want to say is, uh, mm -hmm. in relation to your question, mm -hmm. it's a kind of amnesty. But the amnesty, that's why he used the word general amnesty. Amnesty, yeah. Because he expects that even if you do not put your arms down, they should say, okay, you are, if, if you come, you will not be arrested. Those who are abroad, come, nobody will have anything against you. Let's sit and talk like a family on the table. I think that's from the direction, that's the direction from which uh, 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 the, the, the cardinal actually was speaking from. Looking at the present situation, there is a lot of complexities surrounding this thing considering the different factions that are involved in the whole stuff. So, 
if in case the act the president acts, accepts and finally say okay let me heed to the cardinal's council or call and grant general amnesty to these people is it everybody that's going to accept it that's a question that is where i believe that there will be a problem because there are some persons who prefer to die than to accept there's a lot of division division yeah. so with that you realize that at the end of the day some people will say okay thank you for what has happened some will say we are not giving up yeah. and it will continue but i am of the fact that if it is done then a dialogue is held they will, it, it will solve the problem it's just like i always say that Africans and Cameroonians do not need foreign aid and foreign uh, solutions to their problems. I believe that if the president rises up as a father in the house, call his children together. Normally, there are stubborn children that will not come. But when they don't come, the solutions that will come from that gathering will include them. And when that happens, a few persons will not overpower the rest of the people to me that is the way i'm seeing it and i believe that that call can be of help if in case it is hitherto i believe that the president is a wise man because he's of age we usually say in africa it's an african proverb that wisdom comes with age and so at that age he has wisdom to give up and if he can get into that wisdom and apply part of because this other man is an old man too he spoke out of wisdom i mean cardinal to me this more than yeah yes by age he spoke out of the wisdom of the elderly and so if his brother can listen to him it will solve a lot of things okay uh please uh a friend needs uh, a nanny if you have any person who can who would want to work as a nanny please contact me after the program if you have uh, somebody who can serve as a nanny here in douala take care of a child please let me know at the end of the program so that i can uh, contact can uh, link you with uh, the friend in question good evening mr liu and all the panelists i think the call for amnesty by the cardinal is the first step to build confidence uh, in the government. The government cannot have our brothers and sisters in the prison and expect us to collaborate with them. Henry is writing from Bermenda. Good evening to you, uh, Henry. <clears throat> Good evening to you in the studio. These people have been appointed by the president. Everybody in position acts at their own private interest. Imagine before passing ENS Bambili, you are asked three millions right to your face. These guys mm -hmm. keep growing richer while we, the vulnerable, grow poorer. Remember, we gave them power. The day Cameroon will rise and take back the power is not far. It's Funui writing from uh, Boya. Good evening to you, Funui. Good evening, Mr. Leo. The guy wearing uh, the Bermuda outfit should try not to be assimilated by the point of speaking French, where he is uh, typical and the phone. I'm embarrassed. Okay. Manel Kim writing from Bermuda uh manel good evening he is a cameroon cameroon is a bilingual country and we decide to speak whatever language innocent you okay our colleague uh, writing from uh, kumba says great job leo and the rest of you in the studio the cardinal passes the message we pray it is received even before a response the calls are not new to the president thank you very much uh brother good evening mr leo and to all on the panel i doubt if the president can hit to the cardinal's amnesty call because many have been calling on him to release those in prison but he has been given a deaf ear and he even sees those in prison as terrorists that want to destroy state peace juan is writing from uh, yaoundé mr liu my name is rolando from doc my solution is to so let the president uh, I don't and shambo to step down for now okay my message is not clear 
Uh, good evening, Mr. Liu. Is Cletus from Limbe, Cameroon? Is the way it is because there is no follow up of the president? He's visible and he should follow up in all. Be ready of Cletus from Limbe. Good evening to you, Cletus. Um, Mr. Liu, President Bia can never hit to Cardinal Tumis and say, Oh, Bia doesn't work with pressure. No amount of pressure moves him. I mean, Ziana, writing from the United States of America. Uh, good evening to you all, Mr. Liu. The wealthy use the system to the advantage, whilst the middle class are being used by the system. Okay, Kingsley, writing from uh, Kumba. Mr. Liu, good evening again. Babila, writing from Kumba. We should stop blaming Paul Bia. The reason why he has overdue in power is that we, the Cameroonians, have patronized him. Good evening, Mr. Liu. Please tell uh, that auntie to respect the cardinal's name. To me, to me. Is he your age? <laughs> Boris from Bomenda. Okay. Uh, Boris, auntie is respecting cardinal. To me. <laughs> More writing from Yaoundé. Say good evening, Mr. Liu. More from Yaoundé. It's very obvious that uh, the CPDM is the winning team. So if you want to make a breakthrough, belong to them. They have a spirit of intimidation. Okay, uh, more that is what uh, you think. Now, how do we... Um, what do we tell Kanatumi? That even, uh, even if the president does not hit to his call, what next is to... He should keep pressing now. Something I said before. Now that I respect the man Cardinal to me, mm -hmm. he has two caps. When I look at him, there are two things I'm seeing in him. First of all, a man of God, and secondly, a father. It means that, and if you see Pa coming out as he has come out, it's because he feels that four years is not four days. And like uh, my brother Kwan was saying, the Anglophone crisis has taken another turn. It means that each day there are new surprises. Even, you, you know, it, it, as of now, Mr. Leo, it, it becomes to an extent very difficult even to identify who does what within the, the, the ranks of even the said the Amber guys. Because there are those who are using it for their personal gains. There are people who call you, threaten you for you to send the money. They tell you you have not been supporting developmental projects and things like that. So, it, it, it is, as of today, it is very difficult. And it's difficult because the head of state, who is the father of the nation, he himself allowed it to go this far. Because four years is enough time for the Anglophone crisis to have been solved. This is 2020 that is almost expiring. Next year, 2021, we'll be talking five years of a crisis that everybody knows how it can be solved. Mm. So if the president, if Cardinal Tumi is calling on the president to grant amnesty to everybody, it's a good way. Yes, but... Well, uh, if, if the president does not listen to him, he should keep fighting now. That, that is what I'm actually affirming, Mr. Liu, because given the president I know, I don't think that the president may easily, just may easily yield. Mm. Because the president is somebody who does his own things at his own pace and does not believe in pressure. Remember that many persons have repeatedly called for a major national dialogue. That the one that took place in Yaoundé did not meet up the canons okay. of uh, given a major what, national what, 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 what should uh, the president of... Uh, no, what should Cardinal Tumi do? Yeah, After um, now, men of God should join him in prayers now. Not to me. And uh, it's more of my uncle before having been a cardinal. So you are no more... You're not, the person who watches you is no more closer to, 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 to Cardinal Tumi than I am. So you should chill. <laughs> anyway, Leo, yes. what I'm saying is that I think... He is first of all after the kidnap. After he was kidnapped, the next thing we heard that he was um, uh, 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 being hospitalized. Mm. The best thing I would advise him to do is to pray. Keep praying for no. Keep praying for the nation. Let him take his rest. But like, like a retreat, like um, I would like to say, yeah, a retreat and pray for this nation because he has talked. He, if your when your father talks to you about something, it gets to a point. Your father just stops and starts looking at you. And he's praying for you. And when you fall into that pit, the, you see your father, he will not dump you, he will not abandon you. He will come back for you. So, Katanatumi should keep praying for the nation, 
praying for President Pobia's heart to be softened, praying for uh, God to give him wisdom to handle the Anglophone crisis, as well as soften the hearts of the Amber Boys and the M uh, CRM party. Let him keep praying. <laughs> Let him just pray. Let him rest. Our, at least he should live longer than his mom. Okay. Uh, good evening, Mr. Coombe. The Bible says, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. So the president is supposed to heed to the cardinal's amnesty call. Uh, yes, what uh, should uh, follow? Should others also copy his cardinal to me? Or take over the command battle other other men of God? We have been doing that ever since from the, the CRM. I thought you had a man we of did. Okay. We did, we, we did uh, such proposition to okay. the government. Remember, uh, when they call for the yeah. national, I will not want to say the so-called national dialogue. Uh, the CRM mandated the president at that time to issue the government what what must have been done before the di dialogue was supposed to take place. But uh, up to today. Nothing of that sort has ever been done. Donc, nous avons toujours rappelé qu'il faut amnistier. Parce que, effectivement, la recherche de la paix commence où le problème se situe. Et nous savons tous que la crise anglophone a été portée par un certain nombre de personnalités qui sont, qui sont euh, présentées comme des leaders. Et il se trouve que ces personnes aujourd'hui sont euh, euh, en, 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 en prison. Et la crise n'est pas en train de montrer des signes qui laissent croire à une paix. Donc, c'est une solution que nous attendons tous. Nous, dans le, nous au MRC, nous l'avons portée. Et si le cardinal, le, le cardinal euh, Christian Tomi aujourd'hui, porte sa voix pour demander au gouvernement, pour demander au président de la République, effectivement, d'aller dans ce sens-là, nous ne pouvons que euh, l'accompagner. Et nous invitons toute la communauté nationale, effectivement, euh, de porter très haut cette demande-là pour que, effectivement, euh, qu'il y ait cet espace où les Camerounais, quelle qu'en soit leur sensibilité, quelle qu'en soit leur idéologie, puissent s'asseoir et trouver ensemble euh, ce que nous pouvons considérer comme des solutions pour notre nation, parce que la nation tout entière en dépend. Alors, euh, je ne serais pas trop à l'aise de dire dans le temps que le président de la République va rejeter parce que l'intérêt, tout l'intérêt de la paix s'y trouve. Il faudrait effectivement que euh, 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 les gens soient graciés, les gens soient amnistiés pour que il euh, y ait cette, ce cadre de représentation. Parce que ceux qui ont pris des armes, ils ont pris simplement parce que, à un moment donné, ils ont estimé qu'il fallait opposer à la force républicaine une autre force okay. pour faire entendre leurs idées que nous condamnons, mmh. jusqu'ici nous que nous condamnons, mmh. et nous demandons simplement au gouvernement de regarder dans le problème et non pas de regarder dans les périphéries okay. du problème oh, merci, pour apporter des solutions. Merci beaucoup. Uh, nous sommes arrivés à la fin de l'émission. Uh, tomorrow we are going to give leave the stage for men of God to tell us the way out. Uh, are they going to bring down, pull down the strongholds that are holding uh, Cameroon captive? We are going to have them tomorrow uh, on the program, and then on Friday we are going to have a special guest uh, here in the studio to tell us about what happened at the Munich uh, conference. So much is talked about that some money was contributed and uh, to sponsor. Uh, the fight that is going back here. I'm talking about uh, the conference uh, that took place, uh, uh, that was attended by um, Kawala, Alice Metro, and Alice Metro Sim, and a host of others. Uh, the key organizer is in the country. He's going to be here uh, with us on Friday to tell us more about what is uh, happening at that level. We want to say thank you for coming, Professor Mark Antoni. Thank you very much for the opportunity, Leo, and uh I think I'll always be available when the call comes. Okay. And uh, to you, thank you for coming. It's a privilege being on board, Mr. Leo. It's true that uh, f for some time now we've not been around, but we're back. We're okay. Back. We are glad you are back and welcome back. Thank you for coming, Mr. Dillian. Mm, effectivement, merci. Le Camus, c'est un pays bilingue, il faut que je le rappelle. Le Camus, c'est un pays bilingue. Je, je suis effectivement euh, du nord-ouest 
précisément de Fondon. Et j'ai envie de dire à certains téléspectateurs que je n'ai pas pu enterrer mon père dans son domicile euh, à Fondon, simplement parce qu'il y a cette crise ici qui s'est imposée. Et donc, euh, pour rappeler simplement que je suis une victime propre de la crise, mais ça ne m'empêche en rien de m'exprimer dans la langue euh, qui me sert le plus, parce que euh, que ce soit ceux qui sont du nord-ouest, du sud-ouest ou de l'ouest, personne euh, n'est né avec le français et l'anglais. Okay. Nous sommes tous dans nos langues maternelles. Thank you for coming. I just want to uh, extend greetings to my maths and French teacher back in GBHS, Jacquery. <laughs> <laughs> they are watching and I know they, they must be very proud. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, um, okay, if you talk me too. I know you are watching and you should be proud. <laughs> okay, we want to thank you all who took time off to watch the program. But please, if you have a nanny who can do a great job for a friend, call me after the program so that I can link you up to the friend. And uh, thank you to the production team. Desmond, Eli, Christian, and uh, Betran and friends, we say thank you so, so much. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.